Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are doing a little uh, day in the life of picking adventure in the summer. So a lot of times we mentioned we do all kinds of different running around during the warm months buying stuff. Um, one of the places we've been stopping, we did a really nice video for the family, um, is Joe Cook uh, had a big collection, was legendary in the Jersey area and even the Northeast. Uh, hot rodder, pinstriper, etc. We did a really nice video. You should check that out. Drop a link below. But we've been coming occasionally and buying and dropping in when we have other things going on. So today we're going to do a little dig in here and we'll see if we can find some odds and ends to buy. And then number two, we're going to stop by another guy's place who has a 32 frame and who knows what else um, that we've been trying to work out for a while. So we try and line up some stuff. And also this is uh, for the Swedish guys is their oh, we, haven't, real, we haven't introduced them either. Real picking adventure. It's uh, Carl, Jacob. Jacob. Um, we decided to get them out of the shop. They've been slaving away, <laughs> <laughs> working in the shop, and we figured we'd take them to do some real life picking and digging. Uh, and this is probably one of the better places to do that at. So, see what we find and what kind of trouble we get into. In gear. In gear. Oops. Started once it's outside and you don't smoke it up, smoke the shop. Ready? Yeah, we don't want to get the Dick Lewis car too far out. Remember how much that sucked for us to push last time? Yeah. <laughs> Dick up. Well, he was banged up. Yeah, I guess we gotta make sure. And then that's a roadster pickup too, isn't it? Oh yeah, what's that? That's Carl, a roadster pickup. Carl likes roadster pickups now. I took him for a ride at nine. Now yeah, he's, he's good. The red one's for sale. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we can store it to get it uh, to, to Sweden. Yeah, this is, this one is. No, this right. is nice. You have the nicest roadster pickup in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Mm. With the Z28 motor in it. Uh, Camaro. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how we look. Good on this side. Oh, I got plenty of room on my side. I guess it's straight. No one's getting that side. No, you're good. My, I got this side. Mike's got that side. We'll you might need help slowing it down. Yep. No problem. See, bringing extra help is going to be weird. This sucked to push back. Oh my back. gosh. I wish we had that on film. That was terrible. That's probably good right there. All right, so we're making a little bit of a pile here. It's getting there, right? It's getting warm in here, too. Ah, uh, we'll be alright. It's not too bad. There's a box fan in there we can set up, I saw. Yeah, let's break it out. What, yeah. are you, what are you looking at? More junk engines? Yeah, these are all, I wouldn't say junk, they're just flatheads, but there's every nook and cranny has stuff stuffed under. Like, there's a Merc crank here <laughs> that was hiding under here, and you can tell a Merc crank. Holy flywheels, too. Good and, look. uh, yeah, so there's every area has stuff hidden. Stuff like old chrome spring perches from coil springs there. coil springs from something boat parts <laughs> a little bit of everything you never know there's neat stuff mixed in but it's every little nook and cranny so you have to dig kind of start tracing your steps and we have to be systematic and even what we've looked through already some of it it changes every time you move stuff yeah so yeah, that'll work. You saved the box for all this fan. I thought it was brand new. No, it's, it's got some yellow to it. We got to go through all this over here. We got a lot of work to do today. Yeah. Maybe on 
this one. Set it down just the way it is. Uh -huh. Straight down. Glass letters on a precarious little step. Yeah, I think somebody probably put this together. It was already broken. Yeah. And they made this little plastic. He's in the office digging. Yeah, our helper. He's not sitting on the toilet, is he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah, the o, the H, the bottom of the H is busted. Oh, the, a couple of the letters are broken, but it's still. You can't light it up, but it's cool just to put up this. It's like that. it's yellow. You don't need to light it up. I'll hang it up just like that. In my yeah. Shop. Anything yeah. else you want up there? Oh, there's ribbed tire rings. If they're decent, we'll yeah. take them. There's still an old intake up there. Yeah, Edelbrock three two. Just watch the sign. Watch the gorilla cage. Probably want to go uh, directly go under, under it. it. Yeah. yeah. Probably directly. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday I was on the ladder on the building. Today I'm. Can I go up? Yeah, I'll go up. Why not? Oh, Straighten the ladder. It's crooked. Hold on, hold on. Straighten it that way. There you go. That's better. How's it feel? I didn't make it up the second stair, and I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would have climbed that. I climbed that. Although it's not this photo off. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know the crap that gets talked? Oh, look at Matt. He's, he don't even take his own stuff down. The guy just sits there. He don't even work on his own cars. There's a 34 Ford. Oh. That's funny. I got one of those at home. He, there's another one over there, I think. 
simple little model. All right. Set this down right there. We're doing all kinds of sketchy stuff today. What's that? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, it's got a transformer in it already. Wow. Cool. Love it. Definitely fix that. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll let you carry it out so I don't drive it. <laughs> yeah, That's looks cool. It's got some weight. Oh no. Broken right there. Yeah, the A. That's all right. Wow. That's something that could be fixed. All right, so we're going through, making our piles. Matt decides he wants to buy something outside today. Show us what you're buying. We've walked past this a million times, and it's a neat little yard art piece that Joe had made, which is cool. But I was looking at it just now, and I'm like, that looks like a 32 frame, and it's an original 32 frame that was... Is that a 32 cal? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it is a... Yeah, actually it is. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Are we taking the bitchin' firewall with it? No, I don't want any bitchin' firewall. Sure. No, What's that? You're not a bitchin' firewall. I'm not a bitchin' firewall kind of guy. It's already been cut and channeled, the bitchin' firewall. See that. Yeah, so it's not virgin anymore. No. Not so bitchin'. It's got, he's got even legs on the guy. Is there yeah. shoes like the other bag? No. No, the other, nope. It's <laughs> a leather jacket. Those are good snap-on gloves. So we're gonna have to take this thing apart, sadly. And uh, it's not like you couldn't move it. You could move it without. Uh, no spring perches on it, I think. No, it's just the suicide front. Yeah. I'm sorry, oh, no, you're good. You're good. Here's the vinegar special. Somebody might want just the hood. Seriously. Take the firewall. Take the firewall. No. <laughs> Someone throw that in the truck quick before Matt notices. Was wired. Maybe lift up the next one. Might want to knock it. There he goes. Ultimate mock up mechanics wire. I can't even see. It. Oh, there it is. It's like wired into rusty shit. That's what it is. There it is. <laughs> I don't know if the wire is pretty bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, the cow vents like falling out. Yeah, he was like, maybe we'll let the cow. I don't know. You take a look at him, Mike. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Got the cool lights on it. I guess I'll put this guy in a seat. He's he's, he's wired in. He's wired in too. Oh, of course he is. Got to keep his arms set body. <laughs> yeah, you might find a real one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's even got a 32, 32 rear under it. Yeah. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Be careful. Get out of here, B. Hey, Vince, turn around real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. And we had a model 
Model T running board is a seat. Oh yeah. And now we got bees pissed off. Oh yeah. Oh, it's through the bottom. Cut the, it looks oh, like there's, there's more wire. We wired it together. I'll be that rusty at one time. Yeah, you might be right. Somebody will build a rat rod out of that. Did he actually bolt that in? Well, what? The, the cups bolted in. <laughs> Mother. Might need a... A tool. They don't look that old. Nah, they don't. We stay in the stay in the frame up. You can probably get under there. Oh, like that. There we go. Nothing. We don't need nothing. Well, it'll pop off. The nuts all busted apart. There we go. Lucky for us. Seriously. Look how rusty that was. I know. Well, they pinched it. It's narrowed in the front. Oh, yeah. Well, that's annoying. This might be going on for a Monoway Roadster target. Which one? Whichever one you want. Which one you get rid of. But it's open. Make questionable life choices, my friend. Yeah. Do you have it? Do that again? Yeah, no. That's a wolf yeah. whistle. That's a whistle. Uh, there's no choke. Oh, it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Fuel shut off. There we go. Try that now. Now we gotta get fuel under the car. Yeah. There we go. It sounds like it might have some kind of cam in it. I think it does. See, it's got a Mallory ignition too.
All right, so that's it for here, right? Yeah, that's here. Thank you to Vince and, and the Cook family for letting us always dig around a couple of times a year. A few times a year we come by and visit and buy a bunch of stuff, hang out. It's always good fun. I'm glad to hear the roads to pick up running. Last time we shot the video, kind of memorial video, the fuel pump went bad as we were trying to fire the car and run it. So we had to use a clip they had in the video before. So Vince and another family friend rebuilt the fuel pump, got it running again. You guys heard it runs sweet. So super cool to uh, hear that thing run in person finally, which is awesome. So we had just a little north of here in another spot in Jersey and pick up a frame and who knows what else we will see, but we're definitely getting another 32 frames. So two frames on this trip, apparently. <laughs> There's barely a, it's a model A something. Yeah, I think it used to be a two door sedan. Yeah, it was a few doors. I think that's what it was, yeah. That's a hubcap. Yeah, Lancer. Was a Lancer. No, it's just an accessory. Flipper cap. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. So the chassis he had made for uh, this. This was a whole car when I got it. Oh, wow. This was a sport coupe. Yep, yep. I gave it, he wanted it, and then I just, you know, whatever. I just gave him the whole car. Then he had a body shop, so he's like, oh, I don't want the doors to close overlap. So he was going to make them close flat, but uh, the guy never finished anything. Geez. So this is what it was. He did this. this it actually had the wood frame and everything on it. Oh, then man. he passed away and laid in the body shop, finally just got oh, sold. So wow. this is it. Then the son wanted it, but he'll never do nothing with it. The chassis. So it's a 32 chassis rails, but Pinch. it's made for a 28. Yeah. It had yeah. no rust, it was in the garage, but then they had to take it out, so they never used it or nothing. He got it up on, I think, Hershey. Yeah. So. I would say know. it's welded pretty well. Maybe we'll lay it down and yeah. two on one side, one on the other. Yeah. Two on. So you got three on one side and me on the other. Yeah. Great. Great, got it. <laughs> okay. Good. Good planning. Two on one side, me on the they other. They got all the weight. I'm just balancing it. Oh, I got the camera. You guys are doing great. Thanks, yeah. Mike. Thanks. Hey, Carl. It's the key for the. That driver does any work. That guy just sits around, smokes a cigar, and fucking tells everybody what to do. I mean, that's normally. This is just an act. He never. That's funny. He don't even get his hands dirty. Somebody has to stay clean. Already got everything up here. Got it spread out. Take a quick walk around. Show you guys what we bought yesterday. Um, there are a few things that Matt unloaded already at the shop. There's an old roller uh, roller cam that we bought that he's saving. It might go in the Schroll car. Um, there were some neon, the neon signs that we pulled down. They stay at the shop. Some books, some magazines. I'm trying to think what else. Just a few odds and ends. Nothing real big. Um, maybe if Matt gets them the neons mounted i'll put a photo right here of them but let's take a walk around show you guys what we got and what will what will be available 32 chassis that was under that project outside uh, this will be for sale it does have some rust in the front here from sitting in the pine needles uh, from here back it's really nice it has some pitting but it's a 32 frame uh, so rear cross members intact no real damage or anything k members decent not cut up which is hard to find so that'll be available and might we might have a, a person interested in that already but that will be available seat i think it goes with the model a we got to take some measurements uh, flathead isky valve springs full set brand new i don't know if we need those or not i got to see if we have a set at the warehouse or at the uh, at the shop full set and a partial set of radius tappets for a 404a Isky cam. Full set here. I have to count and see how many are in there. Matt might have some extras too to make two full sets, but those will be available. Model T grill shell that was chromed on like a T bucket. It's got little feet down here at the bottom. Neat 34 plastic model. Pretty decent shape. This is actually sitting on top of the uh, used car neon all the way up in the rafters all these years. Fenton old rocket intake. I need to set it on an engine to see if it's 303, 324, or the later. Uh, but these are pretty uncommon. These were based off the Edmonds molds. So um, Fenton only made these for a handful of years. 
a uh, Y and Olds water crossover. I need to check to see what that fits as well. Uh, if it's the 303 or the larger engines. Set of Offy 59AB heads. These, unfortunately, this one is not that bad. It has some pitting. But this one, this one someone removed with a chisel. The corner of this head's got some damage. And over here, so they'll need to be surfaced and reworked. Uh, but they're pretty decent on the front side. The fins aren't that bad. This one's got a chipped fin here. This one, same spot. So they're not terrible, but they, they definitely need a lot of work. Uh, Pontiac, the early Ford adapter. Olds Cadillac, the early Ford adapter. And two small block, two early Ford adapters. Uh, some spark plugs. These are we're actually keeping. These are flathead spark plugs. Uh, random cut down generator. I'll probably be using that for mine. Bell, hand pump, pressure pump, uh, set of olds, Hurst engine mounts. I believe this is Y block Hurst front motor mount, a stack of small block Chevy motor mounts, neat little half gallon aluminum moon tank. It's kind of neat. You don't really see them that small. I believe these are olds header flanges. I got to test fit them. Uh, two moon tanks. This one, I believe, is an Ioko. I have to look to see if it has the stamping in it or not, or if someone just slapped an Ioko sticker on it. But it's pretty clean on the inside. It has these little feet welded to the bottom. Uh, and then we got bought this. It's a four gallon moon tank, but this is for like a drag car to mount on the front of the chassis. It's kind of neat. It's got the right brackets for it and everything. I noticed this earlier. It's got this neat little on the release. It show, shows moon. It's got some baffles on the inside. Pretty. Oh, I can't latch that. Pretty nice tank overall. So we got 51 Buick, I believe, tail lights. You know, just lenses and the bezels. Plastic lenses, not glass, but still usable. Reproduction 34 Greyhound. I believe it's brand new. Never used. Uh, some 50 Pontiac taillights. These are like what's on the Schroll car. Uh, gauge panel. Need a little reverse spotlight. This is real neat. This is a Roadster windshield frame. Matt actually has one of these on the Roadster pickup. Uh, but the one he has on it is chrome. It's got these little arms here that mount to the curved windshield frame of a Roadster. Real neat. Has pretty, very nice glass in it. Uh, some gas pedals. There's a 32 to 4, but there's also this. This was used from 35 to 48, I believe, but it's chrome. Couldn't pass that up. Real neat piece. Cal Custom Scoop for a four barrel. Uh, early Ford spindle, set of re uh, reproduction early Ford spindles, drop arms. Neat little waffle pedal with the bracket and spring, which are usually mi missing. Uh, California 39 plate. Cool cast Chevy mousetrap plate. Uh, books, magazines. We bought a lot of magazines. Uh, I need to go through these and pull some stuff for myself. Matt went through these already. So once I pull what I want for myself, these will be available for sale. A uh, bunch of neat books, great hot rodding books. These will all be for sale. These are all duplicates that Matt and I both have. And there's still more also that uh, Matt needs to go through to see if he needs. So Model A cow bands, uh, F1 steering box, 32 to four steering box. I gotta figure out what this fits. Uh, if it's 32 or three, four. Split wishbones, these are always neat. These are 46 to 48 stepped wishbones. A lot of guys like to use them on lower cars because of this step in them. Uh, 33 4 radiator, some cow steering boxes. This was in a dragster at some point. Real neat dragster wheel. That is a, sh um, I believe that's sold. I, we have someone that's interested in that, but real neat box. Both turn nicely, are in pretty good shape. This is a real neat tube axle that we found that Joe had Frank Mack sign. Um, his car was on the cover of Hot Rod in november of 53 uh, i'll drop a photo of the car right here but we just think it was a tube axle that joe took to him to have signed um, because the car has never been apart so it 
it's obviously not from that car uh, but still a neat piece uh sitting really really neat model a headlight bar someone bent for a track nose to go around that'll be for sale some covers starter covers for apa bell housings caddy olds air cleaner some spare tire covers this is a 33 4 five window quarter panel section that was hanging up on the wall as wall art we pulled down that'd be good for patch panels set of 16 inch wires with really really nice 616 tires these will be for sale i think the tires are brand all brand new they all still have the nubs on them and the, the stickers so available apa bell or uh, oil pan I believe this is 32 reproduction floor matt's on the fence of selling this because you never know when we might end up with a 32 another 32 i believe we have to figure out what that fits but he might want to hang on to it uh, this is the 32 chassis we picked up on our last stop. Uh, it is a reproduction chassis that was pinched for a Model A. Um, it has like a street rod X section. Um, step in the back, or sectioned in the back for a rear end. It's like a rear a spring behind, Model A front cross member. This will be for sale. It's fully boxed. It's in pretty nice shape. Just has some surface dust we'll probably clean this up before we put it up for sale but that'll be available and then finally is model a project so model a roadster 28 29 um, it is a little rough has some rust in all the usual spots but joe or someone filled the gas tank hole and cut the post to run this neat two-piece Duval windshield. Um, it's a pretty good starter project. The front cowl is actually in really nice shape. Uh, just a little bit of rust on the A pillars, but the cowl top and bottom are in pretty good shape. Doors, obviously, doors and quarters need some work, um, but it's pretty common for a Model A. Um, neat little starter project for someone. So, this would be available. So, if you saw anything that you're interested in, please send us a message irontrappergarage at gmail.com or on our social medias. Get your photos, get your price. Hopefully it gets shipped out to you. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Catch you later.